Welcome to Rome. Today we're touring Piazza Navona, a favorite of both sightseers and city dwellers alike. These cobblestone streets are normally full of artists, musicians, and tourists, but before the 15th century they had a very different use. Since the first century, this square was a center for trading and bartering, a circus and sports venue dedicated to the Emperor Domitian that could hold 30,000 spectators. Yet, there was also a much darker side to this iconic piazza. During this time, it was also the place of persecution of the Christians. So if you can imagine, so many martyrs shed their blood and consecrated this ground right here. It's right here where St. Agnes would have also been one of the many saints who was martyred for the faith. In fact, her sacrifice is honored with a church dedicated to her, St. Agnes. It houses a relic of her skull. The stairs leading up to it are strategically placed to avoid water damage when Pope Innocent X's sister-in-law would flood the square. If you can imagine, with 17th, end of 17th century technology, managed to flood this entire piazza, about three and a half feet, in order to recreate naval battle scene. Today, Piazza Navona's main attraction is the obelisk in the fountain of the Four Rivers, commissioned by Pope Innocent X in 1650. People couldn't even imagine that this beautiful fountain could actually support the weight of this amazing obelisk that actually is not from here, it comes all the way from Egypt and goes back to about 1500 BC approximately. And so it's called a silent witness because this would have witnessed the Israelites before and during the Exodus. Once in Rome, the obelisk bore witness to the martyrdom of Christians, the raising of the level of the entire square by 70 feet at the end of the 19th century, and the onslaught of millions of tourists that normally fill Piazza Navona today. In Piazza Navona, artists and musicians interact with tourists all the time, giving this square a friendly yet traditional Italian feel. It's the perfect place to take a passeggiata or a stroll throughout the city so you can get a taste of Rome's great culture and history. In Rome, Melissa Butts, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.